Many of my students ask how I created this video. So this is a step-by-step -step tutorial. First, let's go to events. When green flag clicked, and we are going to use a loop. For now, let's just put forever. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is for the cat to bounce up and down a little bit. Okay. We're going to motion, go to, I'll fix X to be minus 150. So the cat will stay on the left side. We will have the space on the right to create the clones. On the Y dimension, I want the cat to bounce up and down. So it will be between minus 100 to 100. Okay, so how do we create something that is always between minus 100 to 100? We can use a multiplication. We use 100 times something that's always between minus 1 and 1. And how do we get that? We can use this one. Okay. Instead of apps, we'll change it to sign. Sine is to calculate the sine of an angle. If you haven't learned sine, don't worry, you will learn this in secondary school. So we will put sine of, we put another multiplication, and we'll use 80 times, go to sensing, we will choose timer. Okay, so timer is provided by scratch. It will just, since it's timer, so it will be a number that keeps on increasing. 80 times timer, that's some, some number that keeps on increasing. Sine of this number is something between minus one to one. Times 100, it will be something between minus 100 to 100. Okay. On top of this, I also want the cat to turn left a bit and turn right a bit, just to make it fun. So we will go to motion, point in direction. We go to operations. Since we will start, the cat points in direction of 90. So I'll put 90 minus, let's do leftmost turn 20 degrees, rightmost turn 20 degrees. So we'll use something similar. We'll use multiplication 20 times something, right? But instead of sine, we can also use cosine. Okay? So you can choose cosine of something. We can use the same. Multiplication, 80 times timer. Okay, so let's try. You can see the cat up and down, turn left a bit and turn right a bit, right? But I want the cat to have a different colors. So go to looks, change color by, let's change color slowly. I'll change by two. So it will slowly change color. Okay, so this is a cat. The ne next step is we want to create a clones. So go to control. We will create a clone myself. Okay, so you can see now it becomes like this. For every clone, we want it to move to the right. So drag this. When I start as a clone, I'll move to the right. So we'll need to use another loop. Let's see, this time I want to loop 200 times, okay, 200 times, move to the right. So I will go to motion, change X, let's move slowly. So I'll change X by two. And I also want the cat to turn, but how much we want to turn depends on how you want the cat to move. Okay, I will turn, for this video, I should turn Y position. So if the Y position is a big number, I will turn a bigger degree. If Y position is a small number, I will turn a smaller degree. Okay, so now let's see. Let's stop this. So let's try. So you can see now it's similar to the video. But let's wait for just a few more seconds. You will see that the clone stops. Oh, now it stops. You can see? It stops creating new clones. This is because that Scratch put a limit. The maximum number of clones we can create is 300 because otherwise, if you keep on creating new clones, it will use a lot of memory. Okay, so how do we stop this? We can go to control and we can delete the clone. So after 200 times of doing this, we will delete this old clone. We can create new clones. 
So let's stop the code error again. Let's just wait for a few more seconds to make sure that the clone process won't stop. Okay, so you can see it just continues. So another thing I want to do is to use the ghost effect. Go to looks and drag it here. Instead of change color, we'll change ghost by 0 0.5. Okay, now let's run the code. Observe what happens on the right side. You can see this part, it become a little bit faded. It will fade, then it will disappear. So it makes the whole animation a lot better.